everyone this is Angie at Stampin with the More and today I have a flip top box to show you actually I got this idea I've seen them I've seen one before and it was actually a pretty good size and I wanted one treat size and I wanted to put a window in it because if you watch me you know how much I love windows but anyway um, I just changed the measurements and um, this is what I came up with. I'll pull this little ribbon off so you can see how it opens. And it just opens like that. This one was inspired for the 4th of July. I just got this new little punch from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. It's a new punch pack from Stampin' Up. It has three little punches in it and this is one of them. And when I saw that star, I thought I am going to make something 4th of July since 4th of July is coming up. And so I thought it came out really cute. So this is the one I'm going to show you how to make today. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this piece of white cardstock. I had a little, um, a lady who is hearing impaired ask me, um, she actually suggested that um, I mark it with, you know, a black marker and I do it on white cardstock so it can be seen better. And I think she's right that you can see it. I don't know if I can do this with every box. Some, some of them are a little bit more complicated. But for this box, I certainly can do it. And um, this piece is 11 and a half by 5. And I marked everywhere that you'll score it. So I won't need to bring in my scoring tool. I'm just going to tell you where to score it. And so if I was putting it in my scoring tool or my trimmer, I would be holding it this way and on this short side you are going to score it all the way down at one inch and then on four inches. So it's one inch and four inch. Then you will turn it, you will score it at four, five, nine, and ten. And that is all the scoring that you're going to do. Now, here is the real red, and I've already done that. And as you can see, this has a shorter side. This is the side that the top fold. This is the top. It folds over. This is the longer side. On this side is where we're going to put the window. And you can see that I have already cut it. And the reason I already cut it is this because this is my a second attempt for this video and I did not wait, want to waste any more of my cardstock. So I am already showing you where to cut. So you're going to cut each one of these on these little score marks right here. There's two score marks, the ones that meet this line right here. So as you can see, you cut both on both sides. So it'll look like this. Now I took it a step further and I went ahead and put my window in and I'm actually using the Chalk Talk framelits which is this um, set of framelits right here and I'm using this one which is the window and you will set it here. I have the magnetic plate and if you don't know what the magnetic plate for your Big Shot is you need to check into it because they are awesome. But you can go to my blog at stampingwiththemora.com and go through the catalog and you will find the magnetic plate in there. You will not regret getting that, I'm telling you. It's a lifesaver. <laughs> and then I'm using this also, but I'm using this for the frame that goes around the window. So I already took this and I took it to the Big Shot and through the magic of video, I already have... The window and then what I did was I grabbed a piece of Pacific point and it's like this and what I did was I took this other framelit set it on here and then I just put this framelit inside and with the magnetic plate you can get this perfect run it through your big shot and you will come up with the frame that looks like this Everybody got that? If you don't, you can go ahead and leave me a comment. I'm always look, checking my comments, and um, I will respond to you So, um, if you have any questions. Now, since I did, didn't cut this piece here, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to cut. 
So what we're going to do is these are the two score marks I was telling you about. This one here and here. So we're going to just cut up to the score mark there. Here. Here. And here. And then turn it and do the exact same on the other side. As you can see, I did in that previous piece. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is ac I actually want to cut these little tabs in so that they fold in here a little better and you, you won't be able to see them. I want to cut it this way. And I just cut and then cut this one down here. And this is going to fold up in here. So when it closes, you won't be able to see any of that won't be hanging up, hanging out. And then this side here, I like to cut this on an angle too. So I just go from that corner all the way to the other corner. And we're going to do the same on this side. Your piece is going to look like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of window sheet. And this piece is like two and three quarters by three inches. So let's take some snail and we're going to just put it around the very edge. You don't want to get it. You want to keep it on the edge because you don't want it to show through your window. And we're going to put it over that. And I usually like to make it a little bigger because it makes the box extra sturdy. So now we're ready for our adhesive and we are going to use sticky strip. And please use the sticky strip because I still have people commenting sometimes that their boxes fall apart and the secret is the sticky strip. I have made so many boxes and they do not fall apart using the sticky strip. But when I do my videos I use the snail so it doesn't take uh, so much of your time. So this time we're going to put it on the inside there. Actually this is the outside on those two and then on the inside here. So just run sticky strip down each side here. Okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up, line that bottom up like that and then we're going to close it like so and just line up line up your outside edges here and be, do it carefully when you're using the sticky strip because you know once that adheres it doesn't want to come apart so it's like that and then we are going to turn it around and we are going to put sticky strip on the outside now be sure you use the sticky strip on this part because if you're using snail or just um, some kind of two-way adhesive, it is not going to keep your lid on and you're going to be opening and closing it. And we're going to line that up and that is it. And then you just, it should close perfectly. See? See, it's really not hard at all and it's really quick and easy and it's so cute. And then I'm going to take the frame that I made and we're going to stick some snail on it. You don't have to use sticky strip on this part. You can just use the snail. And it fits perfectly over that. I just need to get it on straight. There we go. And then I'm going to take the little stars that are already punched out in Pacific Point and I'm going to take some Tombow and I'm just going to put them randomly on here. Yeah, I think that's enough. You can make, you can put more if you like, but um, I think that's enough. Then I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White ribbon, wrap it around here and tie a bow. see if I can do this good for the video because normally when I'm tying a bow for the video it doesn't want to come out very good. 
Oh, this one is okay. And then I'll just cut the ends here. You know, you can play with it and make it perfect. And I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White. And I am going to use some Pacific Point and some Real Red. To stamp the celebrate which comes from and many more a new Stampin up set right here and look at all the sentiments in that that would be a great go-to set I had one like this and they delightful doesn't and they discontinued it so this is my new go-to one it's called and many more and we are going to stamp celebrate in the Pacific point And then stamp it in the real red. Yeah, that's okay. I probably could line it up a little better, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take the extra large decorative label punch, which is this punch right here, and I'm going to line it up. that and then I will put a little hole in here I think I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger so I don't have to struggle with my twine I'm gonna grab some Baker's twine I didn't have any real red so I'm going to use the cherry cobbler which is okay I am going to tie it on here. And that is it. See how quick and easy? <laughs> it's really cute. The other two that I also made and if you need any supplies for this project, you can go to stampingwithamoriah.com. I have um, a shop there. There's the catalogs there that you can look at. Just click on the catalog and um, you can look through the whole catalog. I hope you enjoyed the project today. I just love the windows. So this is my flip top window box, I guess. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.